Hi guys, welcome back. Today is a little bit of a different episode than things I usually do. Today I'm going to take you all on a little bit of a trip on a tour of a map of a fellow YouTuber. Um, this, this map is from Dennis and his YouTube channel is The Dennis uh, Show and he asked me to review the, this Republic, which I'm very happy to do. I find it very exciting, but also fun. Uh, two years ago, uh, Estel Silver also re reviewed another map of him, which was on, on an island. Um, and if you, if you want to watch that, I will link the video down in the description, but it's in German. So uh, you will need, if, if, if you don't speak German, uh, you can use the translate uh, uh, tool uh, or the subtitle uh, tool for YouTube, so you can understand what's being said. So, that being said, let's dive in. Um, first of all, let's look at the map, uh, which to me is a, a pretty uh, familiar map, because uh, in the round table I'm do doing with uh, Ketchip and um, Oliki, and uh, Chris Bremer as well. We are using the same map with the Taiga map, uh, only we, we have chosen this uh, part to start. Um, and um, and I think Dennis. Uh, well, I, 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 it's pretty obvious. I think Dennis started here. Um, he could have also started here, but there's not a lot built here. And here, well, that that's not a USSR uh, border, so that would wouldn't make any sense. So let's. Um, what shall we do first? Uh, maybe look at the stats first a little bit. So. We have almost 40,000 uh, people here. We are in the year 2036. And I'm assuming uh, he started... Well, let, let's first look at the difficulty set things. So the citizen's reaction is great. Um, I think that this will probably be the hardest settings. The water management is enabled. Night and day cycle. I might turn it off. Uh, because at night I cannot show you anything, so I, I, I will do that in a second. Seasons is on, building fires is frequent, so we can expect some fires and expect some uh, pretty good and hefty fire coverage here, I think. Global events enabled, vehicle availability all, pollution enabled, education is complex, climate justice enabled, traffic simulation complex, we are playing in realistic mode. And uh, well, research is, doesn't do uh, much anything yet. So realistic mode probably means that this was a pretty slow start. Um, given that I think he started here. Um, and then here we see the first construction area. So that already meant that, that vehicles had to go up and down pretty, pretty much. Um, but yeah. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to uh, disable moving sun and I will be right back because I don't want to sh show you stuff in the dark. Just a second. So we're back. It's 19 degrees, 18 degrees and it's always uh, sunny uh, in this republic. Um, so first of all, um, I really like the layout of this city, which is Ostende. Uh, uh, translate to East End, something like that. I think I really like the the volleyball or basketball or things like this. Um, so how 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 did he start? Um, I'm assuming uh, here are the 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 how do you how do you say it? your flatbed materials? Do we have a small construction office, a warehouse, uh, technical services, and your so where do you? Um, Oh, here, here's oh, here's gravel. Uh, this one, um, Chris Bremer also uses in his uh, Fjordland map, and it's the dredger, dredger, the bucket dredger. This actually dredges uh, gravel. Ah, and you don't need to have a gravel production plant then, because it it dredges gravel right from the river. I always wanted to use this uh, this mod. Very, very nice. Just, just a closer look. Yeah, yeah. It's I, I really like this. So we are going to to a gravel storage, and from there we are uh, here. We are having cement. 
So, and how is cement being? Let me concrete plant, um, which doesn't have any any water, by the way. Here, oh, you you, you are bringing the cement to the concrete plant. Yes, excellent, excellent. And so th this will probably. Um, no, this is your cement plant. Well, what did you deliver? Bitumen. Oh no, you are loading cement. Okay, try again. Um, gravel is being uh, transported to the uh, cement plant. And I think here is an aggregate uh, loading for the gravel. So how do you get your coal? How, how do you get your coal? Am I missing something? How does coal get transported here? I've just started and I'm already not getting it. There's no line. Oh, yeah, there's a line here. For me. Here. Yeah. So this goes from the coal river, which would translate to coal river. Yeah. Coal gets uh, transported from the coal. Uh, mine or uh, producing plants to here and we are creating cement which is then um, stored here and together with the uh, gravel here we can create concrete and what are you oh yeah we're also creating asphalt excellent so this would be the for the production um, of concrete and asphalt is here so um, here we are getting the coal And we have a brick factory here and we have a heating plant and we have our coal um, storage which is great so yeah it it, it totally makes sense to get all your imported goods here to create your asphalt and uh, uh, gravel and um, what do you call it cement and concrete here and have your coal and your heating plant um, here let's take a look at the city so, Ostende. Um, I really like the layout. We, we have a... What would this helicopter... Uh, we do have a helicopter passenger heli heliport. This would be the university orphanage. Okay, let's, let's not guess what, um, what buildings are unless I click on, on it. What are you? Your Stalinka's. I really like how... It feels such a nice place to live. Um, a radio station, which is ha which is uh, not staffed at the moment, I see. Um, there are more slinkas here. We, we we do have a pretty good. How many people can work here, can uh, live here? Oh, we don't have an accounting so, uh, an accounting office here. So what uh, are we are creating lift stock here? And then um, you are a small slaughterhouse. Which can, uh, which is better, a small slaughterhouse? Because the vanilla slaughterhouse can make so much meat that you will only need one for your republic, and you will need like three farms to support that if it would be on uh, on full production. So let's let's kind of uh, dive into a citizens level or workers level. Yeah, this is really nice. This is really nice. You know, the the fuel thing there that doesn't exist is actually a Pata Morgana. It's um, probably some uh, discussion of it not being right. I like, really like the layout here. Um, I love it. Oh, we also have uh, trams here. That's great. Here's a station. So where are you going? You are going to the train platform here. I'm going to jump. Oh, that's here. Okay. So you are going... Yeah, now I don't know where I am. We, we're going from there. Oh, we're going in a tunnel here. And we're delivering the, pe the people here in this area. We, we, which are we also creating prefabs, I see. And uh, you are the iron processing plant. We have a steel mill here. So we, we are creating our own steel. Um, 
You are the railway building for a construction office thing. I like how the, everything works and everything we are exporting. Are, are you going for the export? Yes, we're going to export some steel here. Great, great. I also like how this is uh, how this is between the fields of a farm. Really well thought out. This in the beginning must have cost a fortune. But I believe, I think probably the the coal would be would at first have been delivered by truck maybe although i don't see an unloading spot but maybe uh maybe not so um when i started i zoomed in on this um this bridge no it's not a bridge uh it's um uh how do you say this um a hydropower dam and this is also a, a mod and i love how this um I've always wanted to put in and mostly uh, because I was on the Fjordland map I couldn't find a real good spot because Fjordland hardly has any rivers. Um, so yeah and it's also using ships here. So what are we shipping here? What are you? You are... Um, go away. Go away. You are warehouses. Oh we are provided with alcohol, clothes, electronics. And no food. So this is... Ah, and here's the food. So we are unloading the food here. Are we then also have a... Also have an, or we are having a food uh, production area here. Would it be here? Let's stop this. Well, this was the meat. So let, let me jump a little bit. Where? So here. Okay. You are going back and forth. Okay. Okay, I don't understand what what's happening. Let, let, let me see. So you're going from here to there. I probably think... Cover storage original. Just the, the, uh, I'm not getting. Would this be a drop off point and that the, the, the distribution office is uh, dividing the goods between those two or something? I'm not sure, but um, maybe Dennis can uh, enlighten us enlighten us what 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 what's the setup here and what's happening here and this is not a truck this is a, a tiny train <laughs> i thought a truck it, it really looks like look, look like an lkw truck to be honest anyway um so here we are having uh crops once the harvesting season is uh beginning uh, uh th this will pro probably be the drop-off point and there this will be the Distribution of yeah, this 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 distribute from the grain storage is probably here and here. Distribute to here, and this ship will carry the grain. Um, where it says it it carries alcohol and food, but it, it is actually loading grain. So yeah, okay. This is the first city. So let's go to. The rest of our map see what else we have got this is only this area so i i'm mine might need to hurry up because if you know uh, workers and resources a little bit a lot has been built on this on this map and i'm very eager to see what, what what's going on here so shall we go to the i think here is the next area building area something like here um I, if i if i go like this i probably go wrong but I can follow the road a little bit. Yeah, let's let's just click here. I'm I'm always uh, going in the wrong direction if I if I want to go. So here we have uh, our second uh, city, which is um, Arend Halen am Zee. I I I I keine Ahnung. I I don't have a clue. 
uh, but it's Amze, uh, which is uh, by the by the by the lake. Um, um, anyway, again, a very beautiful city. I, I like how he uses the monuments and also the uh, the decorations, uh, the the diversity between uh, upper uh, cables and under underground cables i think you call this so here's again a, a pretty big construction uh, office here for uh, me mechanisms mostly so to s s say um, we have a, fi a good fire coverage but what are you i don't know what all oh this is uh th these are road cranes well this is this is a uh, Train depot. So here, I think we see our first crime and justice, um, our uh, prison, which is pretty full, actually. Great, great. Let's see. Um, we have a 71% loyalty. We have uh, a happiness of 80%. We are pretty happy. Uh, we we have uh, some alcohol audition. A lot of people have a radio and, and a television, so that's good for the government loyalty. W what I was saying like half an hour ago. Shall we go through the numbers first before I reloaded and forgot all about that? So uh, economy and trade. Let's see all of it. Um, so let's see the sum here. We we can see it. This started in 19 March 19. 60 as we can see here is the starting date so we can see that it took a long time it's 2036 so i believe that it's 70 years something like that 76 years am i calculating correctly don't know um but more than half of that so it took like about 30 years to become really profitable um and Profitable he is because uh, let's look at last year when I look at the stats, uh, my uh, FPS really plummets. So we are <laughs> we are making 255 million rubles per year and 95 million dollar. That's a lot. That's a lot. So what are we what are we making it with? Mostly steel, clothes, chemicals, bitumen, fuel and power. Great, and let's see uh, what we aren't importing anything anymore for years. When did we start importing? Well, that's a, a, quite a lot, it's like 10 years ago, something. So we have been self-sufficient, completely self-sufficient for about 10 years. And so let's uh, let's look at the, at the population. So what happened? Because uh, if we look at the population, population yeah we see some death spirals um which is logical if you have a republic this big with so many cities and with seasons on i i have my yearly death spiral but uh, the growth is pretty good and it, it is pretty steady and the happiness is uh, pretty good pretty good we are saturated i am my i don't know if this that's my FPS is, is, is going down to 5 at this moment or something. Health, the loyalty has been pretty steady and going up. Going up, there were some crises. Um, alcohol addiction, addiction, addiction. In addition to the addiction, uh, well, it's going pretty good, I think. Uh, we are enjoying our, our sports. We are not, not enjoying our religion so much. And our clothing is pretty, pretty good. We have... A good amount of university educated people don't want too much university educated people because your um how do you say this your electronics consumption especially late game will skyrocket uh we can also take a look a little bit at the prices because all well, uh, prices let's see for instance alcohol and uh, uh let's look at steel go away thank you well, oh, um, uh, maybe I should click on all. Look how this uh, how this increases over time. How the the prices are and the inflation. What is this? The 
oil was pretty expensive to buy in the beginning probably because he bought oil and fuel the blue one is this is is buy i i wouldn't know why you want to buy oil in the beginning but it it it, it, it was pretty high and now not so much maybe it's because since we are exporting uh oil the price drops i think that's that's like the the, the cross elasticity something like this what which is happening okay so what's what's more to see i'm really feeling like a kitten uh, a, a, a candy store kind of thing you yeah there's so much to see everywhere and i don't have a clue if i'm being too too slow here so what what are we doing here uh what did what did you just drop off you are um unloading crops here and this is a this is a warehouse for crops and you are ah here's the food factory and probably the, the brewery yeah so here we are creating alcohol and food and we are exporting alcohol and food as well i like how he uses ships i'm i'm very much of a ship person also with transport beaver and this map is destined to have a lot of ship sh ships going back and forth so yeah excellent so and then we're going here uh what, what are we having here there are some construction offices as well oh in here you are also a construction office um i need to click ah we are creating our mechanical components here and i think we can go here and we're going back to the first area maybe i'm not sure so what what do we have here um we have a train, this, this is a train distribution office and we are having uh, some gravel here and we are processing our, we, we, we are having our second processing, gravel processing um, facility with, with the gravel here. It is a large rail construction office. Um, so yeah, we, we are having our whole rail setup and what is this is uh, asphalt well this is actually uh, another construction area to support the construction am i missing something no right i'm 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 going whoa look at this oh this is so nice it's a uh, uh, helicopter construction oh it's those helicopter bases those are actually very nice and uh, this is is this a this is, this is not a vanilla one right no the vanilla one is different laid out i believe i believe so this is for the oh, we don't have any 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 uh, anything assigned maybe because they were making too much noise uh, sometimes it happens what are you gravel distribution and uh fuel we need fuel for all the all the helicopters to be uh fueled um and are uh, you are are you a bridge yeah whoa the elevation here i didn't know you could elevate this much f2 three whoa that's 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 great f2 go away go away so we're coming here into our third city and again with a completely different set up with the blocks of houses uh, we have our big this is a big uh, station bus station do we have a uh, no we, we we are not using statistical offices also with helicopter platform again is this an orphanage yes now i am right yes orphanages are pretty full uh, you need a lot of orphanages um I like this the roundabout here and how it's 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 being decorated that's a lot of work to to place that nicely have uh, have some billboards it really has a soviet feel uh in my opinion mr dennis can i ask you 
Um, I also saw this in your playthrough that you are placing these pipelines just above ground. Um, and in my opinion, either you do it above ground so that you can kind of uh, um, make the roads underneath or you just go one underneath ground because then the pipe retains the heat much longer. I was just wanting to ask you why what, what's your reasoning why you use it it's just above ground and not really above ground or maybe if you are so close to the ground then the 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 heating is distributed also um how do you say this that you don't lose as much heat as um as you do uh, above really above ground yeah so that was his question so heating plant and uh, the coal is uh, getting uh, transported by train again and what are you you oh no we have a small processing plant and and you are getting coal you are loading coal probably yeah to the crop style i uh, um probably the steel mine i think i think um so that's our third city here what are you a warehouse for all the food and and your i like how the city is laid out again it, it's all cities have a really different feel and also this I wanted to show you here. Um, you also did this with the tram. Uh, sorry for jumping up and down. Where was it? This. Um, he really decorates. And I like the attention to detail. It's um, for me much more fun to take a ride through the Republic. If, if you know, with all the trees and decorations. And you, you could really see yourself living in cities like this one with the fountains and uh, I, I, I think I use you in the equipment map, the museum excellent excellent so let's dive in here so um, I think we covered this probably here was the food area I believe so here we haven't been here I believe so go there so here was the no i don't i'm totally lost where i am now current was sir i'm c um let me we had i'm totally lost now uh this we just saw right and but where are um Oh here! I thought I was here. <laughs> I, I was I was looking for the um, this area. So let's go back. And we're going we're going to follow the river a bit. So we are going here. I hope. Yeah. So this area I wanted to take a look at. Yeah. So Kernwasser am See. I'm I think what 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 you are these are uh, houses for workers and all and they are going over the bridge to the facilities over the over the walk uh, of the footpath bridge this is a nice idea this is very nice what are you tiny kindergarten and you probably have a heat exchanger or a, a power substation. Uh, there should be a heat exchanger somewhere, I, I think. Well, how do you get your heat? Here is, is your uh, water substation. Water and sewage. So, don't these people want to be w warm in the... No, they probably have good coats or something. Oh, this is sewage. This is water. This is electricity. Where is the heating? So probably... Where is the heating here? So you probably... You are in range. Ah, excellent. Okay. 
So this is a, a very small city, probably to support um, Kernwasser. It sounds like nuclear energy to me if I translate. Oh, which I see a little bit here. I think this uh, tiny little city supports our nuclear um, stralende Zukunft, which translates to beaming future. Uh, yeah, it's lightning future. Yeah, so we are creating um, nuclear fuel here. Excellent, excellent. And I like this Bessen, Bessenet, Bessen, I think you would call it. And, and what, what? This is a cooling pond. Oh, this is instead of the cooling tower. That's great. And how this has also been um, detailed is X and the road. Wow, a cooling pond. And you have your uh, cooling, this is your sewage, with your cooling uh, connectors here. And well, why not cool with sewage water, right? Okay, let's let's move on. <laughs> um, yeah, and what are we doing here? It's, it's again grain, and we are probably loading grain here. You are loading crops. Yeah, but we we need to be uh, in harvesting season, which should be very shortly, probably, um, because it's already July. So then um, the the boat the boat can get filled up again and and uh, deliver its uh, grain. Where are you going? Probably yeah to the Andra van Amsey cargo harbor. I'm going to jump again. I think that's where our food production is. Yeah, weren't we just here? Yeah, we were just here with our food production because of this um, this area. So, uh, we did cover this, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh yeah, we had, we had our construction office there. Okay, so more farms here. And also, what, what are we doing here? Large farm and grain storage. And uh, yeah, some uh, uh, electricity. Are, are you almost? We are at 86% of growth for this. So you, why aren't you? Uh, you haven't been sold. You haven't been assigned. So yeah. Okay. Um, let's quickly do this. Maybe it was just a bit too much for this form. So next year. We have crops there as well, but maybe we should assign this one as well. It doesn't do anything because I'm not going to give the save back to uh, to, to Dennis. <laughs> but uh, just for the idea. Um, all right, so we have some electricity here. And here is where we get that um, we are uh, last year. Uh, um, no, do, do the different... Um, uh, Hurry up! Thank you. Um, while we are exporting so much power, are we also exporting to Western? Yeah, also. So yeah, that's how we are. Uh, uh, this this little plant is creating a lot of revenue for us, which is great. So let's me let me to take a look at the map again. We have covered this area, and I don't think we covered this area. Maybe take a look at where our resources are. We have coal, and you see there's coal here and there's coal there. Maybe we did some coal mining there as well. Yeah, probably. Um, I, uh, coal, we need uh, um, iron. Um, yeah, I think the only iron plant is here by the steel mill. What I can see. Well, we have oil. Uh, we have so, some oil. Th th this will probably be oil fields. Yeah, there are oil fields here. And we are, have some uranium ore, which we are uh, utilizing there. No, not some. This is the only uranium ore. There's no option but to go there. And some bauxite, uh, which we are not utilizing, I think. Um, so I'm wondering if we are... Uh, creating aluminum let's see are we creating aluminum export all export 
No, not really. Okay. Um, let's go back. Um, to the oil. Whoops, here. Um, yeah, oil. Where's the oil? Here's the oil. Here's where we are mining lots of, lots and lots of oil. Oh, he uses these uh, large oil wells. We we'll probably have a way bigger um, catchment area. So you don't have to have a gazillion of them. So here's our oil processing uh, area. Oh, this was just the farm I just saw. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so we have these uh, 12,000 tons. Uh, this is where we store the oil. And this is probably where we store the fuel and bitumen. Which is connected by this uh, train station. We have a oil refinery. A small one, I see. And we are also having a power. Ah, we are using the oil also for another power plant here. And here is a mechanical component. I know because I use this one as well. Um, so I hope the, there's a vehicle coming and the deli de delivering some wood. What are you? You are delivering crops. And you are exporting chemicals. Excellent. So how would you get the wood? Uh, train distribution of this. You would get that. I don't know if it is matters. I mean, it's obviously working right. So yeah. Don't try to fix things which are um, not broken. Oh, we have a lot of chemicals. So yeah, this is uh, providing for our nation probably to be um, to have um, nice clean drinking water. Excellent. And you are getting, uh, what are you getting? You are getting fuel to be delivered to customs. And um, I think here. No, I thought I, I thought there was also a city here. No, you are not the city. What are you? What are you? Ah, yeah, we are creating our own planks here and wood. Yeah, excellent. So um, this is a mod by Novo. Um, and here you have a managed forest, which means that in one quarter, uh, only one quarter is actual forest. One is planting and one is the, the, the growing and the harvesting and the recreation of soil and things like that. So it's, it's a, a forest where you don't have to replant your plants, but the capacity is, is, uh, is uh, 10 to 10 tons of wood per workday, where if you have a normal forest uh, here, it, it's your capacity is 30 times 6 tons, so it's like 180 tons per workday. So yes, you can use these, but it, it, it means a lot of space uh, you need to have, which is realistical. Realistic, I mean. Um, I often also use this one and the normal wood cutting post, so if I forget to replant re then uh, there's also some wood being delivered so yeah but i really like this it's uh, yeah um so we can go ah no i was thinking um this was this was the city but this is actually the whole oil processing uh, thing sometimes it's not really clear so this city provides uh, also for the people here i think so let's go further uh, towards here. Um, stop. Let me see. So what we have some harbor things. Ah, here we are. Um, how is your line? You are. Oh, you, you are. And you are a dock. You've just been created, and you are a cargo harbor. So what vehicles do you have? Um, yeah, I think this is where this is sort of a central distribution hub with the train distribution office and the train depot, or real depot. You are the warehouses. I think this is functioning as some sort of central hub um, in order to di dis 
tribute and maybe also to the are we exporting uh, uh, export to western countries well we are exporting electronics last year and we are not really exporting to western countries i see um so yeah what are you you are probably bitumen and, and fuel and here again is is your um Concrete plant and asphalt uh, plant and what are you? Nuclear fuel fabrication. Ah, here we are creating our nuclear fuel. Um, so uh, the reprocessing plant. That's nice. Um, what does the reprocessing plant do? Well, it, it consumes uh, nuclear waste and. Uh, it consumes nuclear waste and chemicals and it produces uh, UF6 and UF6 you can use to create nuclear energy again. I'm using this also in the Fjord Let My People Joe uh, uh, reviewed and I really like the idea so that you can reprocess your own nuclear waste. I um, um, use only some people because I wasn't producing enough nuclear waste, uh, but this it seems like this is working right or right so, like this. And this is your, uh, yeah, one container is worth 100, 1.1 million uh, rubles, so 143. Yeah, that's uh, there's a lot of money here. There's a lot of money, and I like this airport fire station a lot really great and here look look at this again the detailing i love it i love it what 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 are you you are again a, a construction office a lock construction office and you are sewage outage again the real construction office yeah Oh, look at this. Look at this. This is probably the capital city. The capital city of... I can't find the name. Uh, am I looking wrong? No, I can't see what... Well, we can... Uh, this is... Uh, eyes. You know, I can't pronounce this. And uh, uh, Anyway, it's the central hospital of the capital city. But look at how you would enter the city here. And how you would kind of... I love this and the big roundabout and all the buildings and the all the uh, how do you say this the the the, uh, the courthouse how do you say this the government buildings uh, uh, here are, are, are around the city the government it's a police station and uh, probably a courthouse somewhere a house of culture what are you city hall hey we have a city hall here only not enough workers. No, because there are not any workers assigned. I like these buildings. What? What are you? Oh, we are. Oh, we have. To, this is tourist city. This is why I got you here because we were going on a little trip. Oh, great! I just can't get enough. Well, you are probably something. Um, this is right. Something museum kind of culture. Culture cultural thing this is a stadium big sports hall and these are for the people to live for the workers to live what are you ah a university a polytechnic university let me take a look i saw something else i need to look at this what a beautiful building i should have put all those safe enough because it annoys me a bit every time i want to show you something this auto save thing comes in between but here look at this monument in a, it's such a nice place to put this in the center of a roundabout and how much time and effort it takes to get this roundabout as as round and as laid out it's just beautiful magnificent absolutely magnificent I wanted to know what what are you we 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 sure oh a small nuclear heating plant yeah that makes 
perfect sense. This is a huge city. And I still can't find the city name. If I if I if I say some accountants or some people work here, I want to know how how many people are, are, are working here. Let's wait a little bit until there's some people here and then we can go to our airport. Because I think this is how the people are ar arriving from abroad. What are we making tourism wise? Here we make four million dollars a year by Soviet and 700,000 by Western tourists. So how long has tourism been going on? Oh, but it's pretty much all along, you know. Am, am I? Yeah. Well, there has always been some to tourism, but, but the last years it's been really exploding. What are you for kind of thing? A Douglas DC9 was 51 tourists and I can in total don't know how many tourists. Um, well, this can go a little bit over 100, I think, something like that. So yeah, and then... Um, here the, the passengers are being dropped off as well as the workers probably how many we, we have six workers and we're going get in get out load passengers the tourists sorry yeah and then you're going somewhere here and you're being dropped off here and going into town here oh yes this is a, this is really going around and going back. This is great. So this is a tourist capital area. What are you? A large zoo. But this is so nice. With a football next to it. That's great. I really like how all city have their own identities and their own layout and there are so all the trees what do we have else we are here is the um the the Flughafen. how do you say it? it's the airport um and then we i believe we covered this area of the map we are forgetting little bit here I will get back to that later and so what are we having here what's what's this area this is also a small city uh, with, with a warehouse and so where would you want oh look at this this is a nice bus station yeah so what are we supporting here where are we going we are supporting the real construction office and here is another um, how do you say this helicopter construction area um, we also have some wood creation here again and um, the railway construction area uh, so this is this is really to support the construction area do i have is that true? Because I don't see uh, they won't get any workers from here. So this is truly to support the railway construction. I think. I think. What are you? You are uh, a water filtration plant. Ah, excellent. Excellent. So then we are nearing nearing the end. This is the construction area where we just were, and then here. I'm, am I going right? Hey, we are having a new harbor area here. So what are you? What are we creating here? Let's dive in here. So, um, we are having a lagerhalle. And all we are elect electronics. The elect Go away. The electronics. And... What are we doing? Ele electrical components and we are creating plastics here. This is all our 
electrical components, electronics, and uh, ooh, we have two big chemical plants here. So no, the one I was um, referring to wasn't supplying for the whole republic. These two are. And this is the central um, um, central storage, which is a combined storage. It can store a lot of things, also meat. And this is electrical components. So we have three electrical components. We have one plastics factory and one um, electronics uh, and we have a form for the fields here. Um, what would you be? A heating plant. Yeah. And we are refining fuel because are we having some... So you are bitumen fuel and you would be oil. Uh... This is a pumping harbor, so we are probably getting oil. Yeah, we are getting oil from the ships. Yeah, it's unloading, so we can get some um, oil here as well, because we also need oil for our plastics uh, factory. Yeah. Bitumen power plant also great. So, the, la the last <laughs> city with... What is this? A technical University. Wow, look at that. Ooh, that's a really nice building. With the the fountain in front of it. I never saw I, I've never seen this building. This as well. Theater and a beautiful stadium. And um ooh, a shopping center. Wow. That's a huge shopping center. So how, how many people are working here? Uh, are living here? 7500, which is pretty good. See, this is what I mean. Again, a whole different setup in, this, in the city. This is, uh, we, we were starting at the east end. This is the west end. Uh, is this a police station, I believe? Yeah. Well, crime is doing pretty great i think i don't see a uh, huge what what is what is our how do you say this, our crime uh can i see what well, uh, where could i see again uh, um, um, um no probably here um no also not here here so less here reported crimes well it's pretty good right all did we have crime waves yeah, we did some. Oh, there are reported crimes, but police didn't come. Yeah, well, if you if you are a republic, the bigger it gets, the more these kind of kind of. But you know, only one percent, and you see some spikes, and then uh, Dennis had to kind of uh, fix that, which he did. Um, what are you? An, an Arazu? This is a school, I believe. Yes. What are you? Ooh, the Astoria Cafe and the cinema. And this is uh, a, a secret police. Sorry, I thought it was a prison again. But you only need one big prison for your... Um... So, what's this? Um, what are you carrying? You're carrying people. Ooh, this is a range. Wow. So, where are you going with, the peop with those people? So, oh, we have an oil rig. Let's jump there, because I need to... Here in the middle. Oh, that is nice. We are getting here. The people from Westende coming to the oil rig. And what are you? Old substation. Did, did you have to create a little island for this? Probably. Or, or does this... Uh, can you just plop this on the water? This, that, it's... That's great. Yeah. So, the people are being delivered uh, uh, at the oil rig. And, um, yeah, the police will probably have some issues here. Maybe uh, helicopter for the police or something. Yeah, that's really nice. Here. More people coming. 
Hallo. Oké, okay, oké, okay, oké. Okay. Zo. Um, so. What did we... Did we cover the whole map now? What, 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 what is this here? Or this is the oil wick. Yeah, this is the oil wick. Yeah, yeah, okay. Okay. And then we also um, are doing stuff here. And there and there. And then I'm, I'm, I'm kind of rounding up, I think. Let me see. What are we creating here? Uh, ah, this is the uranium uh, conversion plant. The uranium processing. And there should be a uranium mine somewhere. So, here is the... Go, go, go. Aggregate unloading. So, where you come, uranium mine. Let, let me jump there. Here. Alright, so... The mine is here. The mine is here and the trains going back and forth from the mine to unloading here so we can get our uranium um, process. Um, how do you say this? Our UF6. And I would expect this to have also a train connection to somewhere, but probably it wasn't necessary. Um, What are you? No, you're, you're just railroad depot. So we are uh, processing uranium here. And what are we doing here? Just, just go a little bit smaller. I think we're doing nothing, but the black thing, thingy, is a lake. And maybe we have here is something being done, right? No, that's also lake. So. That's what I like about this map. You have all these pl these plateaus, uh, especially uh, that we see, uh, especially here. Yeah, you can here. We are building for the round table now, and you have all these plateaus. And if you look, you can go from one plateau. There's always a way to connect uh, in a nice way. You know, it, it, uh, you can lay. Railway to there here you can even build in the valleys like this. Oh yeah, I'm really a fan of this map. Um, so I'm think I'm going to round this up. Um, and what I want to do is I want to have a train ride and the in the end. So I'm I'm going to look for a train which kind of shows us a little bit uh, about the Republic. And then we're going to have this train ride. Dennis, thank you very m much for giving me the courtesy to review your re republic. I really enjoyed it. it, it it's a fantastically beautiful republic. I really like your creativity and how you give every city its own identity, um, how everything works and how you make use of, of the various uh, ways of transport. Um, I am uh, going to round this up by uh, picking out a train and we are going to have a small train ride through the republic public which i'm going to do first person because uh, the railway has been laid out in such a beautiful way that this is actually possible thank you very much for watching hope to see you next time bye bye